If you have footage of people wearing fine lines or fine patterns, it's likely creating the moiré effect, which is those wavy lines that can be pretty distracting. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce and maybe even remove the look of that moiré effect with one very simple technique. And if you're new here, I'm Ali. Will and I release weekly video tutorials all about how to troubleshoot in DaVinci Resolve, as well as videography tips and tricks and gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. Now, let's hop into Resolve and get started. Okay, so we're in Resolve's color page and just wanna give you a heads up, depending on the size of the frame of your program window, the moiré in your footage may show up a little more or a little less. So it's important to review your final exported file at different screen sizes if you think more moiré might show up. This is because different frame sizes will cause the very thin patterns to move closer together or farther apart as the pixels will have more or less compression. So. First, we have to create a mask around the area we'd like to reduce the moiré. In the free version of Resolve, you can click on this Windows icon, grab the pen tool, and I'll draw a quick mask around the shirt here, then go to the tracker, track it backward and forward. And this isn't a masking tutorial specifically, so if you do need more help when it comes to masking, let me know in the comments below. I gotta just say, one of the many reasons I decided to switch to the paid version of Resolve is because you can use Magic Mask, which just makes things so much easier. So I'm just gonna undo that. Let's open Magic Mask, select this plus eyedropper, scribble over our shirt, track forward and backward. Awesome. I'll toggle the mask overlay on for a sec so you can see where the mask has been created. Toggle the mask overlay back off. Next, press Option S or Alt S on your keyboard to create a second serial node. Open up effects and search for blur. There are several different blur options that you could use. I prefer Gaussian, Gaussian, I don't really know how to say that word. Gaussian, I'm going with Gaussian. Blur, so let's drag it onto our second node. Just gonna show you this for a sec. So I'll push blur all the way and look at this. The entire frame is blurred. We only want the area that we masked to be blurred. So connect the blue to the blue and there we go. I'm gonna set my blur strength to around 0.257's looking good. You might need to increase or decrease this depending on your footage. And look at that, the moiré is reduced, which is awesome. And you might be done right here. But I found like with this particular clip that a sort of like weird color issue is going on. This shirt has some purplish patches on it. To fix that, we can add a third serial node, open color wrapper, and I'll drag this purple point in the opposite direction. So opposite of purple is green. And awesome, we've reduced the purple and there you go. If you want to know the gear that we use and recommend, like our favorite portable hard drive, check out the description below. I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for checking this video out and we will see you in another one.